Hey guys, um, this week I, I mixed a song and I really was happy with the way the vocal turned out. It's a song that uh, my buddy who's been on the show, Dave Huff, produced and uh, it's one of Matt Davis's artists, Matt's from England, the artist from Wales, her name's Bonnie Tyler, I'm sure you've heard of her, incredible singer. And I, I was so, so happy with this vocal, I thought it might make a good example to show you kind of why I do certain things frequency wise like we've covered how to do certain frequencies and, and, and all but I'm gonna kind of try as best as I can <laughs> as best as I can uh, to show you why I made these frequency decisions and why I think this is a, a good template for a really kind of new modern sounding vocal sound that sounds a little arrogant but if you ain't a little arrogant don't be a mixer um, okay the song is the song is called um, "All I Ever Wanted." I'm gonna play you a little piece of it of the finished mix right now. Everything that's ever meant anything is standing right here before my eyes. Okay, the first thing you're gonna notice is. It's pretty full, pretty full range frequency wise. We got, we got a pretty good even complement from about 15K that you can hear all the way down to, you know, below 100. Now the way I think, I divide the frequency spectrum in my head and different frequencies give me different feelings. So like the fifth, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna strip this down and just, and just show you. Um, the compressors, This is in keeping with my philosophy. Don't try to get one thing to do too much work. You specialize. Like think of a, a football team. You got linemen. You got quarterbacks. Let let thing let things do what they're good at. Now here's the vocal without anything. Everything that's ever meant anything is standing right here. Before my eyes. Now you can see, uh, you know, I've done a lot of automation on the vocal to 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 help the compressors not have to do as much work. Now, um, I've got Arvox. Arvox is is kind of a unique thing. I'm not really 100% sure exactly what it does, but what it does, it does it really well. So let's add the Arvox in. Everything. That's ever meant anything. It's standing right here. Okay. Now, I'm feeding the R box, which, which is acting more like a limiter. I'm feeding that to our old buddy. Everything that's ever meant anything. It's standing right here. Before my eyes. Okay, I'm not gonna spend a lot of time on those because we we beat compression to death on this show. Our little massy buddy, he's doing his work. But this is what I want to show you. And I've done one, two, three, four frequencies of cuts. So let's show you without it. Everything that's ever meant any everything. That's ever meant anything. I want you to notice right here, 600 and, and 2000, I, I took out so that the 1K would come through. So think of me as, as kind of making the 1K clearer. Now what the 1K does is it gives me a, a sense of power in the mix. And that's, that's one of those trendy frequencies that we want to make sure we get the right amount in now. Now over here, I'm cutting some 200. I'm going to sh sh solo these. This is what the 200 is doing. That's ever meant. I just didn't like that. This is with the frequency cut out. Everything that's ever meant anything. And this is with the frequency in. Everything. In some, some circumstances, you might want that, but I already had, this was a well-recorded vocal. Uh, Dave Huff's engineering staff and his engineer uh, did a great job. That always helps. But when you guys are recording your own stuff, so you should, your stuff should be pristine because you're all great engineers. 
Okay, and then the 600, this frequency I took out, this is a real kind of, I think of this frequency as, 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 as it, it, it's competing for the same space as the 1K to 1.5K, and, and it, it, can, it, can, it can falsely make you think you've got a lot of power in the low mid, but, but you're just covering it up. So let me show you this frequency. This is with it in the mix. Everything. And this is with me taking it out. Everything. And this is with the frequency in. Everything that's ever been. Now let me show you the difference between this frequency and the frequency I want to hear. Everything that's ever been. See, that's the frequency I want to hear. I don't want to hear this one. Right here before my Okay. Now I'm taking out a little 2K. This this is kind of a everything. Now you have to be careful with 2K because 2K allows you to hear t, d, p. It allows you to hear, well, not p as much, but it has, allows you to hear consonants. So um, without that frequency, you're not going to be able to have clarity in the vocal and you're going to have to turn the vocal louder to get understand what they're saying. In some songs, understanding what they're saying is not important. This song, the lyrics are very important. So I wanted to make sure that that frequency was there. Now that frequency uh, is the frequency that I use the C1SC on a lot to control. I, I let the C1SC kind of make sure it's as loud as it can be without going a little nuts. And I'll show you that in a minute. And then this frequency here, this is the Jason Joshua Memorial frequency. Every time I'd put too much of this in, Jason would just get so mad at me. But I like this frequency, but, but we, we got a little too much in this one. So I'll, let me show you that. Everything that's ever meant anything. You know what? To be fair to Jay, that's actually a little lower than the frequency he hates. But that's another frequency that, that, get, that helps you find the vocal in a mix. And then the, 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 I'm shelving here, so I'm, everything from 6K up I'm adding in. That's a very dangerous thing to do. I'm adding that. It, it's very, very dangerous. You got to make sure your monitoring environment is just right, or you're gonna, you're gonna rip people's heads off. So let me take, let me show you what that is in and out. Everything that's ever meant anything. Now let me show you what too much sounds like. Everything that's ever meant anything. It's standing right here before Without my it. eyes. So it's a pretty important frequency. And I think of that frequency as, as giving a sense of expensiveness. I mean, that's, that's, that's the frequency that you pay $15,000 for a microphone to give you. That's, that, that, that in our listener, it creates a kind of a subconscious feeling of expensiveness. What I did here is... I added some stuff that, that, that I wanted back in after I smoothed out those peaks. If, uh, we'll go through this. This is without it. Everything. This is with it. Everything. It's very subtle. That's ever meant anything. Everything. That's ever meant anything. It's just, it's, it's very subtle. I'm adding, I'm adding about 3 dB at 20K. And that's that expensive thing, but now we're just focusing on, on just this little part of the frequency spectrum right in here. This is kind of to compensate for the deficiencies of, of the equipment that people are listening to our mixes on now. Um, if you've got like a, a trillion dollar sound system, I might not be making a record for you.